Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zanata Consulting. I'm Tyler Colt, and in this video, we're going to be walking through how to pre-fill a Zoho form um, when you are sending it out to a lead or a contact. Um, this method would work if you're sending it via email, SMS, really anywhere that you have access to affecting the URL of that form. Um, before we jump in, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below as that really does help us out. And if you have any feedback or questions, please be sure to leave those in the comment section uh, as we do try to read and respond to each and every one of those on our weekly podcast, The CRM Zen Show. So without any further ado, let us jump in to the walkthrough. <music> So really, this walkthrough is going to break down into two key areas. The first is going to be a run through of how to set up what are called field aliases inside of Zoho Forms. Um, these are basically little backend names that allow you to line up data to particular fields that are in the form. And then part two, we're actually going to jump over to the CRM. And I'll show you how to construct the form URL if you are sending it through, let's say, an email template uh, to include that pre-filled data. Um, so right out of the gate, I've got a little simple form here called confirm your information. Um, this is a technique that you're likely going to be using when somebody is already a lead or contact inside your CRM. So here I have, you know, their name, their email their phone number, and let's say their favorite color. Now I'm going to sneak in one more little value here. A little bonus tip for you. And I'm going to put the record ID, and I'm going to hide this field. This is just useful in a lot of different cases if you want to be able to tie the submission of this form back to the record. Right, but so if we we're sending something like this out to a leader contact, we would imagine that, you know, if we already have their name, let's not make them fill that in from scratch. If we already have their phone, if we already have their favorite color, which is just kind of an arbitrary field I dropped in, let's present them with the information that we already have and then let them make any updates to that information. So to actually enable that, what we'll need to do is jump into the um, settings here, pardon me, not share. So under our settings tab, over on the left-hand side, there's a section for field alias. And this is really what we need to be able to um, you know, identify our form fields and allow them to be pre-filled, right? So kind of running through here, I'm gonna grab our first name. So our field from the form over here on the left and on the right is the name that we're gonna give that field. Right, so I'm just going to go through and grab each of these. And give them nice names. Call that ID. Now I can save this. And so, you know, here we're kind of seeing at the bottom, it's giving us this tip. You can pre-fill pre your form by appending values to the form URL. So how exactly does that look and how do we do it? So I'll show you the manual way real quick, just so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. So I'm going to keep this open on one tab. I'm going to jump into our Zoho Forms link here. I'm going to grab our URL and I'm going to put it into my tab here. So here we see we've just got our base URL, right? The full Zoho Forms public, empty form, right? Nothing is on it. But what would happen if we jump over to our settings and we look at our different labels and let's say we put in the URL itself, first equals Tyler. So a question mark and then first equals Tyler. Now all of a sudden we have actually appended that data directly to the form, right? Just based on what the URL is and because we've assigned a field alias, we're now able to pre-fill that data just based on the URL that we're providing to whoever is going to fill out the form. Now that would just work for one value. Let's say we wanted to do two. 
Now I can type and last equals Colt. And I've got another option dropping directly into the form. So this right out of the gate, right? You're probably kind of seeing where we're going with this. Now that we have our public URL and we've set up our field aliases, uh, the forms side of the equation is pretty much done, right? There's not much else that we need to do to get this data pre-filled on the form side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab this URL. I'm just going to copy it. And now we're going to come to CRM and define what we would need to do to actually send this out to a particular lead or contact. So to do that, I'm going to go into our settings. I'm going to go to templates. And I'm just going to create a new email template. And I keep it super simple, just with a blank template here. All right, skip all of our little tabs here. And we'll give this subject line, a little bit of content. So now here's kind of how I like to do this is I'll drop this link into the uh, email template. And again, coming over here, I always like to keep this up so that I know what my different parameters are. And one by one, I can go through and say, so first we'll start with our question mark. This is the only time that we're going to use the question mark. Everything forward will be the, um, you know, and symbols. So our first name is... Now I'll type the pound, which gives me my merge tags, and drop in that first name, right? And so what this means is that whoever you're sending this email to is actually going to get their own version of the link, right? So this first part is going to be the same for everybody, but the second part is where the information starts being dynamic based on who it is that we're actually sending this to. Right, so one after another here, I can go through and just grab all these different parameters. Phone, email, you know, et cetera. So any others we have, we have our favorite color. Oops, that's a percent sign. I think we have a field for favorite color here in Start searching there, our favorite color and our ID for our contact ID. So now I've got this big, ugly link, right? Obviously, this just placed or pasted as text into an email is not going to look great. So, what I generally would like to do is add, let's say, like a button. And I can just drop that entire URL directly into the button, right? So now I'm gonna get rid of this. We're just gonna have our simple little email here. Again, just making sure our button's saved. It's got our big URL with all of our parameters. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a template. And now from a contact, we can actually send this template out, right? To capture the information. So here we just have an example uh, contact, right? None of this info is really real, just a fake phone number, you know, a dummy email, our favorite color being red. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send it an email, which is going to bounce, but we'll be able to see that URL come in. For example, template. And if I click on this link, right, that the template pulled in, we'll actually see that all of this information has been synced, right? So because we're using those merge fields in our URL in the email template in CRM, now when we go to send out that email, uh, all of that data is going to pull in custom based on whatever information that lead has chosen, right? And then from there, Really, all you'll need to do is connect that back to the CRM. Um, we've got a couple of videos on tying in forms via tools like Zoho Flow. 
as well as the default integration. But this should get you everything that you need to actually be able to send out a form with pre-filled field values, um, including names, emails, phone numbers, as well as any other custom parameters that might be important to you. Again, I really do hope that this video was useful for you. Um, if it was, be sure to like and subscribe down below as that will encourage YouTube to show you videos like ours in the future. And if you have any feedback or questions, please drop those in the comments section below as well, as we do try to read and respond to each and every one of those on our weekly podcast, The CRM Zen Show. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.